Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about SOS response and DNA repair. You can also call it as a SOS DNA response system or SOS DNA repair system. Now this is a very specific type of DNA repair mechanism or we can call it like an universal DNA re repair response by uh, both type of cells by prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic cells when the cell is under stress and in situation where the DNA might get damaged or the DNA gets some kind of damage response from outside that may be environmental effect and facts or chemical uh, effects but ultimately if the cell is under any kind of stress and the DNA is damaged either it's a single standard damage or a double standard damage if it is a single standard damage then obviously the universal response is this SOS response now what happens in this SOS response uh, to understand that uh, you need to know an, an overview of what happens during the DNA repair the moment cell is under stress and DNA is damaged the very first thing that the cell should do is stopping the cell cycle to progress from one phase to the next phase so we call it cell cycle uh, arrest or cell cycle checkpoint arrest now this arrest is really important because if the cell progress with that damage to the next phase uh, it's going to amplify in the next generation so SOS response is a very vital uh, response system that's going to protect the cell to move from one uh, cell cycle phase to the other as well as it's repairing and also turning on the DNA repair mechanisms inside the cell now to understand the SOS response you need to know the role of two important proteins and their uh, repeated interaction with one another one is the REC A another one is the LEX so if we think about these two proteins LEX A and a REC A the thing is is that LEX A is an inhibitory protein the inhibitory protein that regulates and actually inhibits the expression of several different types of DNA repair inducing a DNA repair mechanism inducing gene products we call them SOS box so SOS box is a series of gene collections uh, uh, which is being controlled by the LEXA protein, which is being uh, inhibited by the LEXA protein. And uh, genes involving this SOS box, if I, if I tell you, if I put these names, those are UVRD, EUMUD, LEXA, uh, UVRA, Paul B, all these different proteins that are involved, especially this UVR proteins and uh, UMU proteins. Now, both these proteins are responsible for different types of DNA repair mechanisms. But as we know, this Lex A protein is going to inhibit uh, the transcription of all this DNA repair mechanism inducing genes. So Lex A is the bad guys. It's not allowing the DNA repair to happen at this point. But the moment uh, DNA damage is there, because you know normally if there is no DNA damage, we don't need DNA repair. That's why Lex A is doing a good job of preventing the DNA repair mechanisms to be activated when there is no DNA damage. But if there is DNA damage, then this damaged DNA is going to activate Rec A protein. Rec A is a protease, and Rec A is a protease that destroys Lex A protein. And as REC A destroys Lex A protein, then there is no inhibitor for this SOX box genes. As a result of which, all this UVR D, UVR, uh, UVR A, UMU D, UMU C, all these different DNA repair mechanism controlling genes are getting activated. And as a result of which, it's going to impact in two different ways. Two types of gene activation occurs. One, as you can say, you don't need to look at this because the same thing that I, we discussed in the last slide. But remember, only two different set of genes are activated. One is the UVRA type and another one is the UMU type. This UVRA type of the genes, they are related uh, with the process known as nucleotide excision repair or NER, N-E-R. Nucleotide excision repair is going to cut uh, any damaged uh, nucleotide, any wrong or erroneous nucleotide out of the DNA and then fill that gap with the proper version or good version of a nucleotide. So that is UVR's job. And what is UMU doing? UMU is involved in the error prone DNA repair. So we can say that there are two types of gene activation done by uh, after the activation of uh, REC A protein because REC A destroys Lex A so UVRA is being produced, EMU D has been produced. So UVRA is involved with error free DNA repair like nucleotide excision repair which is going to restore uh, the DNA completely to the normal uh, situation while UMU D and UMUC 
uh, umu d prime these are the protein and components uh, and association of all these components together they are involved in a pathway known as error prone dna repair because their pathway is not going to restore the original structure of the dna they sometimes continue with errors that are already been present even after the DNA repair so we call it error prone that means they will do the DNA repair but that will not be 100% foolproof it will still carry some portions of uh, damaged DNA part in this DNA structure so what happens by what is done by this UVRA UVRA UVRB those are involved in nucleotide excision repair if you want to know about uh, nucleotide excision repair in details I'll recommend you to watch my video on nucleotide excision repair the the video will be in this description link as well as in this playlist you can find it but uh, on the other hand this UMUD UMU proteins they are involved in error prone DNA repair and why because you can see that there are two different ways UMU D and UMU D prime both can be produced we call them UMU D D prime heterodimer now this UMU D2 when combined to UMU C it is involved in a process of DNA damage checkpoint uh, response element that is you know while uh, the cell cycle progressing from one phase to the other there are DNA damage checkpoints they uh, in these checkpoints the cell recognize whether there is any DNA damage or not and that can be sensed by this UMU C and UMU D complex so they are going to uh, check whether there is any DNA damage if they find any DNA damage as you can see on in this case obviously they will find DNA damage so they are going to stall the replication fork and they are going to stop the the cell cycle progression we call it cell cycle checkpoint arrest okay so you also call this complex or UMU D and C together as checkpoint effector protein complex on the other hand UMU D2 prime when combined with UMU C uh, is going to uh, activate uh, the translation synthesis of the DNA translation synthesis of the DNA is something when it's a error prone DNA repair when you know there is DNA uh, replication fork stalling uh, and in this point when the replication fork uh, is, is prevented it's it's blocked in this case this UMU D prime and UMU C is going to stop there and and uh, rearrange the replication fork so that they can continue the process of uh, replication again so rearranging of replication fork is done in this case this is error prone uh, repair but in this case they will rearrange the fork and that will allow uh, the DNA to again replicate from that point of replication fork stalling so in that way both uh, of this UMU is involved in either checkpoint arrest as well as error prone repair on the other hand this UVR proteins are involved in nucleotide excision repair which is error free DNA repair so ultimately with the help of the SOS response the cell can stop uh, the cell cycle progression check for the DNA damage repair uh, DNA uh, with error free repair as well as repair DNA with error prone repair of reassembling the replication fork and restarting the process of DNA replication so that's all about SOS response DNA repair if you like this video of SOS response and DNA repair please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that thank you